Hey everybody, Scavenger here. Welcome to another video. So I've been following the uh, Dr. Disrespect uh, situation since it started, since it uh, came out uh, a little over a month ago. And I had thought about doing a video back then. And, uh, uh, you know, I had been toying with it for quite a long time. And I just like... But like, you know, it's not something I'm going to tackle, not something I'm going to put on the channel. But I, I want to react to this video here, and then you'll probably get hear some of my opinions and speculations as well as we watch this video. It's a very short one from Geeks and Gamers. It's only about a little over four minutes long uh, regarding, regarding an update on Dr. Disrespect's Twitter uh, or aka x banner so we're gonna get into this i will do some commentary so we'll stop the video from time to time just so i can say my piece i'd like to know your opinions as well so make sure you leave them in the comments section and uh yeah let me know if you want more content like this from me um or not either way whatever you, whatever you want whatever you uh feel like but we're gonna go ahead and get into this like i said this video is coming from geeks and gamers so let's go ahead and give it a listen before we start the video i will say that despite what my opinions are or whatever i'm gonna say about this video i do find that uh the host of geeks and gamers uh pretty legit guy as far as i'm concerned that's my opinion and I definitely like his take on a lot of things. But, th th you know, what? that being said, I'm going to go ahead and stop rambling. And uh, we're going to go ahead and hit play. The drama surrounding Dr. Disrespect continues to fascinate the internet. And now we have a brand new development, ladies and gentlemen. Currently, as it stands, Doc has updated his Twitter banner. And there are little bitty pieces of information in there. And the internet is going crazy over it right now. You have Keemstar saying, Dr. Disrespect, new Twitter banner update. Sounds like he's going to leak more info on the Twitch ban. Zoom in. All right, real quick. Uh, if you're not following or you're not up to speed with Dr. Disrespect and his Twitter banner, um, not that long ago, just a few days ago, he updated the banner with uh, him sitting across from the viewer's viewpoint. And he's got like a chessboard laid out with checker pieces up towards the viewer. And then he's got his chess pieces in front of him. Um, and, you know, the internet was a little bit of a buzz about that, speculating as to what it meant. Also got roasted a bit in the comments on that one. Actually, it wasn't even his banner that he updated then. That was an actual Twitter post. And uh, then he updated him the banner recently, I think maybe a day, two days ago. And uh, the internet's a buzz again, just so you know what's going on. Let's continue. So originally with Doc, if you go back, he had... This was his original Twitter banner. Then when all the controversy okay, and that's what's started on his YouTube and all of that, he updated well. it. And this is what he originally had updated it to. And now we have the brand new update, which is this right here. And I will zoom in on it. So if you look at it, as Keemstar says, zoom in on it. What is this? Well, obviously there's a fishing hook. It's fishing. And it is hooked the original tweet that he made. This tweet right here. This is the last tweet that Dr. Disrespect made. All right, this we'll talk is the about most damning piece second. of evidence against Dr. Disrespect as I... The host here uh, in all of his videos about Dr. Disrespect says this, uh, this tweet right here has been Dr. Disrespect's most damning piece of evidence. I agree to a point with that. I, I agree that none of the other stuff that has been presented to us from anyone else has been any like evidence at all for anything. But... Uh, I don't know if this if this tweet is damning evidence either. I'll explain more in, in a, a little bit. As I have said many times, no matter what, it doesn't matter what weirdos on Twitter or blue-haired landwells on social media or Twitch say, what he said in this tweet is the most damning piece of evidence, and it's right here. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind these messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes leaned in too much in the direction of being inappropriate. That is the worst thing that he has said up to this point. Now, that is the worst thing that he said. I, I will agree. That's the worst thing that he has said. However, uh, that's not really damning evidence. Like you couldn't you couldn't uh, win a court case on that evidence right there there's just not enough information there so to say it's damning evidence against doc or because of this tweet to have uh 
all the things that have happened uh, to him happen. Sponsors dropping, YouTube demonetizing the channel, basically destroying his livelihood over this tweet. I think that might be a step too far. And then everybody to call him a PDF file, um, probably reaching a little bit, you know, that's my opinion. I mean, I'm sure you guys are going to have yours and say, well, he was inappropriately talking to a minor. Yeah, I mean, he, he, he admitted that, but I think without context to what those uh, conversations were, we don't know. We don't know for sure. And I said, lean into the lean into the direction of being inappropriate. He doesn't say what kind of inappropriateness there is. So that's kind of like, uh, that's one of the reasons I'm still kind of holding out for more information before I decide that I'm going to, you know, nail the coffin shut before I decide that I'm going to go ahead and drag him out of the house, calling him a witch. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, I need more evidence personally. I'm not going to damn a person because of uh, very, very vague information. Too vague to put a case against him, you know? So that's that's where I stand on this tweet and the information here. We'll continue. If he has details, then we can, obviously, we would love to hear those details and hear his perspective on that. Um, yeah, so again, it would be nice up for on it, more and again, it's information is, to come out. And maybe that'll happen. Maybe that's what this is saying. I don't think so. I'll give you more in a second. Tweet. That's all this is, is the tweet. And he is specifically, if you look at it, the, the most definitive thing you can read there is the Twitch ban. So that would lead the speculation as to he's going to talk about the Twitch ban. That would lead that speculation. And that was the most logical thing that you can take away from this is that he's going to talk about that and give more specifics. He's going to have to do that. I uh, um, So I have another take on this, um, what this picture means. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to bring forward any more information, uh, shed light on anything else, because... This is my my personal opinion, my take on on the image right here, is that uh, because it is just a little snippet of a tweet he has put out personally, um, it doesn't give us any insight into the future. It doesn't give us any insight into uh, a piece of information that he has that he hasn't put out yet. It's a copy of what he has already published. So in the grand scheme of things, and you can, uh, you know, make your own judgment call on this. I think um, this is like another poke at the like a uh, court of public opinion, like uh, the the mobs outside of his estate, if you will, you know, the villagers with their torches and pitchforks. Um, I think this is just kind of a poke at them um, because you had the bobber, the fishing hook in this note. I think he's, he's just telling people they're, they're, they're fishing, they're grasping at things based on one tweet. That's what I'm seeing here. That's what I take away from this. He's just like, man, there's a, there's, there's a riot going on outside because of like very minimal information. And they're just fishing for stuff now. They're just fishing for ways to bury this guy. Let me know what you think in the comments about that. We will finish this video. There's only a couple minutes left. So let's go ahead and get back into it. I want to hear what this guy has to say. On a side note, shout out to Nick Merckx. Nick Merckx actually reacted to my last Dr. Disrespect oh, this video. This is not important. Super cool of him to do that. But this is going to be fascinating. And as we know, Doc is a showman. This is what he is. He's a showman. Yeah, I, think I agree that with that. His self-awareness is not completely there right now because I don't know if he understands just how bad the perception of him is right now. He has a massive fan base, clearly. And that fan base isn't just going to go away overnight. Yeah, no, his, his fan base isn't going to go away, I don't think. Uh, at the start of all of this stuff, uh, let's go to his YouTube page real quick. So right here, you see he has 400, 400 uh, geez, he has 4.61 million subscribers. Um, at the start of all this, or right before, it was 4.66 million so it's dropped off a bit, but uh, he still has quite a large fan base. Same for his uh, Twitter or X page, uh, 2.5 million on his X page. I think a lot of people are, they're hanging on to hope. They're hanging on, hoping that Dr. Disrespect will have something come out, like clearing his name. 
Um, at least that's the perception that I'm seeing. I'm waiting to, I'm waiting with a lot of other people to see what's going to happen. Like I said, personally, I don't think the information that he has said, even from his own, uh, not lips, but from his own message from his own Twitter account. Uh, I don't think that is damning enough evidence. Uh, it's, it's still too cryptic and too vague. And as I said, you can't win a court case on that piece of information. So there's still more stuff to learn. But there's a lot uh, yeah, of people a, that are very uncomfortable about that highlighted part right there in his tweet, and he needs to give full clarity on that. I agree with that. He and needs to give more clarity honest, I think everybody if he has wants. The, I think it's absolutely legit the to be to concerned down. about this right here. And say, hey, I'm not sure I can support this guy until I get more clarity or understand what this means. That that's is the okay. end game right there for me. So we will see if that's his plan to give us more details, to give us more specifics on this. It will be interesting. One thing you can say about Doc, All right. the guy knows how to keep people talking and keep people guessing, and I'll give him credit for that. All right, yeah, I, that's about it. Uh, and I agree with all the stuff at the end. He said definitely no, more information needs to come out, more clarity on that snippet of the tweet. I just don't think it's enough to damn the guy um, and, and uh, take away his livelihood. Um, but it, it is something that probably needs to be addressed at some point. But yeah, I don't think the update to his Twitter banner has anything to do with him having more information to put out. I could be wrong. Maybe he's going to put more stuff out right now. I think he's testing the waters. He's toying with his audience and with a lot of the uh, haters right now. And um, like I said, I think that's kind of showing like that he, people are just fishing. They're just fishing for anything they can based on that one tweet. And like I said, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. I would like to see more information come out. And I, you know, I would like to be optimistic to find out that uh, the information that comes out or, or the situation that is surrounding him right now is not as bad as everyone's speculating. However, I don't know. We're living in a weird world where everybody's getting called out for everything right now. Um, so, yeah, you definitely don't want to be in the spotlight these days, it seems. If you're in the spotlight, you might get attacked for something. So, uh, anyway, innocent or not, innocent or not, right? So, that's all I've got. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Give me your opinions on the Dr. Disrespect situation, if you have any and you feel like sharing. Um, and uh, I, I appreciate you guys watching. You take it easy. Have a good one. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.